All right, everyone, today is October 16th, 2014, and today Apple had a new keynote, and at that keynote, they announced that Yosemite is released as of now, today. So you can download it directly from the Mac App Store on your computer. But before you do that, there's a couple things you're gonna wanna do. It's very simple to download, but doing these first can save you a lot of headache in the future. So first thing you wanna do on your Yosemite checklist is back up. You wanna make sure you have all of your stuff backed up before you download Yosemite. The reason being is if something goes wrong and you have to reinstall it, there is the potential to lose all of your data and no one wants that because we all have all of our stuff on our computer and we all need it. After you've backed everything up using Time Machine or another backup program if you prefer, then you can move on to step two which is making sure you have all your updates run. Whether you're running Mountain Lion or Mavericks or maybe even Lion or Snow Leopard, make sure that you've done all of your software updates and you're all the way up to date on your current operating system before upgrading to Yosemite. This too can save you a lot of headache and cause less problems when you upgrade. So after you've made sure that you've backed everything up and you've also made sure that you've run all your updates for your current operating system, then it's gonna be time to download Yosemite and run that and that's really easy to do. All you're gonna have to do guys is go to the Mac App Store, which if you're running Snow Leopard or higher, is gonna be right there from the Mac App Store. It's actually gonna be right up front because it's the featured thing today. But if for some reason it's not, it's gonna be on the right hand side of the page or you can just search Yosemite and it's gonna be the first result. It is free, it only requires an Apple ID. So once you plug that in, it'll be purchased for nothing of course, free, and it will download. It's about a six gigabyte file. So depending on your internet speed, that can take quite a while or be pretty quick. Not everyone has Google Fiber, I know, but Six gigs isn't that bad, it could be worse. After that downloads, it's gonna pop up with a screen that says, hey, it's time to install. It's gonna ask for an administrator password, ask where you want it installed, which is by default gonna be the hard drive where your current operating system is installed. And then it's gonna run through the whole install process. This process is gonna take anywhere from about 20 or 30 minutes if you've got one of the newer computers, all the way up to an hour or so if you've got an older computer. Um, that's not quite as fast. After that, it's gonna restart. It's gonna ask you a few questions about your Apple ID and password, and then that's it. You're gonna have Yosemite. Um, from there, you are gonna have a few updates to run, specifically for iTunes and the iWork suite, because there are updates for that that only work in Yosemite. After that, you're gonna be all good to go to experience the awesomeness that is Yosemite. It's a pretty cool operating system. I've been playing around with it for a while now. I'm gonna make a ton of tutorial videos on all the cool new features, so stick around for those. And guys, go ahead and download it. I'm telling you, this is an awesome, awesome OS upgrade. It is great. It's probably one of the best things Apple's done in maybe the past four or five years. I'm very excited about it. I bet you will be too once you download it. If you have any questions at all about this, please ask them in the comments down below and give this video a like, it really helps me out. And again, stay tuned for more videos for Yosemite. If you hit that subscribe button, you're gonna be able to see those. Over and out, this is Nick with freeappletutorials.com. I'll see you guys later, goodbye.